Hey everyone, it's time for another tool building video. A little while back I found this shovel head that uh, I guess somebody didn't want anymore for some mysterious reason. So I picked it up, I brought it home, and I let it sit in my junk pile for a week or three. I could probably use a shovel for something. And I've got all the pieces to make a shovel. Maybe I can make a shovel. I'm getting a little bit more adept at hard versus soft woods, and this stuff, whatever it is, certainly does feel a little bit more durable than that pine that I've got over there. Fortunately, uh, it's also about the same size as the dowel rod that I was originally planning on using, and decided not to use for specific reasons. Now, as you can obviously see, this is square and not round, so that's not really the most comfortable of shovel grips. But I've got something in mind to deal with this, to turn it from a square shape to a round shape. Now, you'll also notice that this piece of wood is relatively short, and it's not really going to make the most uh, efficient shovel. But I'm using it mostly just as a, a demonstration piece so that way I can kind of get an idea of what I want before I cut out the necessary piece from this longer piece. Now like I said, I've got something in mind to turn this from square to round, but that won't really be of any use if I can't get this piece of wood into the shovel blade. And what I mean by that is there's a piece of wood in here already that I need to actually get out. I went through the process of drilling out the uh, the rivets, or as much as I could reach from either side. However, this piece of wood is pretty stuck in there, and uh, I've already tried drilling it out and uh, knocking it around a bit. However, now I've got some different ideas on how to actually get this out, and I'm gonna go try that right now. I found this piece of iron pipe just kind of laying around that uh, my landlord dug up. I have no idea what it was used for, and I'm going to try not to think about it. But fortunately, it seems to fit just enough so that way my shovel blade can actually sit right in here and be held in place while I try to knock out the piece of wood that's plugged in there. To do that, I'm just going to use a regular claw hammer and a piece of rebar as kind of a poking rod, and I'll just kind of keep Hopefully working it out until the plug falls out. Okay, well that didn't work. That could have been for a number of reasons. For one, I wasn't swinging terribly hard, but at the same time I didn't want to miss and have all that energy go into my hand. Um, two, I couldn't actually get this shovel blade to stay in the pipe very well without it actually getting kind of hammered down and lodged into the pipe. I don't know if you could really see too well, but that pipe was not really in the best of shape and it just seems to be flaking rust everywhere. With that being said, I think my next course of action is to continue hacking away and weakening this so that way I can hopefully go at it again later and have a little bit more success in knocking this plug out. And again, I've already gone at these screws so I, I am pretty sure that there's nothing holding this in here at the moment. It's really just swollen wood stuck to steel tube. I've never really dealt with this situation, so I'm going to just kind of keep trying a bunch of different things and see what works and what doesn't. Um, well, can go ahead and try to explain what happened here. What uh, I ended up doing was I drilled a few more holes out of the plug in the shovel blade. So you can see what the uh, 
the wood chips here. I then tried to use a different sort of pipe to brace against while I tried to chisel that, um, that little wooden plug out of the blade. In doing so, I ended up getting my shovel blade stuck in the pipe and I inadvertently gave it a handle, even though this wasn't the handle I was expecting. Um, I think this is a success. Uh, it's not really what I was expecting, but okay.